Hey y'all, just to give you a little idea of how to work with our course on Canvas. Um, so we're on our Canvas homepage. I give you information about the textbook and then what's going on with the class. So here's the first thing. The textbook, openstackscollege.org. If you go to the website, you'll see our textbook there. So, all right, here's some stuff about the book. What if I want to use the book? Get this book. I have a few different options here. If I wanted to download it to my iPad, I could do that. It would cost um, a little bit. I could buy it low cost. It's for sale on the bookstore. I could download the PDF. I have done that and I enjoy having my PDF copy of the book. So I can go through the text. I can make it bigger. I can look at any of the chapters that I'm interested in. Um, they're all hyperlinks here so I can skip around and read the book as I choose here. Um, and I can click and do some other interactions and things and that's all great. Um, dun, dun, dun. If I do web view, which maybe I don't want to download the whole PDF but I want to have access to the book, I can do web view and it's going to ask me to donate money. And if you want to donate money, that's great. I don't imagine you want to donate $10,000. They're asking for 10 right here, but um, I don't want to donate, so I'm going to continue without donating. And here I am accessing the textbook online as a web page. So I could be at work or something and reading my book. Not that you should read your book at work, but you know what I mean. I could. I could be somewhere where I don't want to download the whole thing, but I do want to spend some time looking at heat transfer, and so I can go to you know, temperature change and heat capacity and read that part of the chapter and um, make sure that I figure out what's going on here as I'm trying to maybe work on the homework or something. So I have access to the whole textbook for free online. All right, so um, I have the PowerPoint here. You can um, download the PowerPoint and look through it at your leisure. But I also have these videos of myself going through different parts of the chapter. So I tell you, okay, so this is chapter 11, fluid statics, density and pressure. And there I am talking about it. And I will go through the chapter with you um, bit by bit in these small little abbreviated pieces so we can talk about some things that are going on in the chapter. Next, I want to do my homework. Chapter 11 homework. All right, let me take a look at this. Okay, here's my homework page. These are the homework questions that if I download the PDF copy of the book, I'll see these problems here at the end of the chapter. Um, and then let's see, I'm going to do the woman walks, her entire weight is momentarily placed on one heel in high heeled shoes, um, calculate the pressure exerted on the floor by the heel, um, has an area of 1.5 centimeters squared, mass of 55 kilograms. Now this is the problem as it reads in the back of the book. Now if I have no idea where to start, there's two videos of me going over this. Um, one's on YouTube, one's on Canvas, I think. Um, it'll get less crazy later on. But I can watch this video to say, gee, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Can, can you help me? And I was getting kind of creative here. Some of my future videos aren't so obnoxious. But um, I will step you through the process of problem solving. Oh, unless I'm silent. I can hear my chalk, at least. Oh, there I am. So I'll walk you through how to solve the problem. But then, when you click here, you get to do the problem. When you do the problem, it's going to say it's a quiz. Don't be afraid. You have unlimited attempts, and I'm going to keep your highest, and there's no time limit. Um, but I'm going to take this quiz do this homework problem and the numbers here 1.68 centimeters squared and 51 kilograms are different than they were in the book problem so you'll have to run through the calculation 
um, at least one more time using these numbers. If you get it wrong, I didn't think 12 was the right answer. Um, I can take the quiz again. So here I am, I'm going to take the quiz again and the numbers are different again. So it's important that I pay attention to the numbers in the question that I am answering. Okay, if I don't want to go through the homework this way from the homework page, I could also go to the, the tab labeled quizzes. Yeah, I'll navigate away. On the tab labeled quizzes are the homework problem quizzes assume it'll go there eventually. Um, the homework problem quizzes that are just um, listed one after the other. These first two just ignore them. They're from other stuff but chapter 11, chapter 12, chapter 13, 14 and so on. So I can do these homework problems and then eventually they'll show up in my grades for the course. So um, that's what you can do when I'm not around to be with you um, to work on stuff. There's uh, lectures you can watch online. There's the homework problems. There is the textbook. Um, have fun. I will see you soon.